Hi guys, uh, welcome to Java Express channel. Today I'm going to discuss encapsulation, another use case, ADM. Okay. Now, if you enter, if you want to deposit a money into your ATM, we have two types of ATMs. One kind of machine is a ATM deposit machine. Another ATM only you can withdraw the money. Now I'm taking an example of ATM. Okay, a deposit machine. I'm taking an example. I'm trying to explain how you can achieve encapsulation here so that you will get a better idea. If you are watching for the first time. Please try to uh, look to be a previous example. Just what is an encapsulation? What is the advantage of encapsulation? We gone through uh, one use case in the previous video. Now we are discussing second use case based on the scenario encapsulation. Okay, how you need to design properly, you will get a better idea. Okay, let me open the Notepad file. Uh, already we discussed about what is an encapsulation advantage in the previous session. Directly we'll go through the okay program, guys. Now have a look here. Now inside this encapsulation, let me create a new package. Now here, let me make it as a ADM so that it will be available in the same classes. First, whenever you are designing an ADM uh, uh, in encapsulation, first you need to design your model class. Now here I'm taking one machine, ATM deposit machine. Just I'm taking. What, this is my POJO class name, assume that. Let me finish it to here. Okay, now, if you want to deposit, uh, okay, uh, in uh, via ATM, first you need to understand the knowledge, domain knowledge is required, okay? Okay, when you insert your card, what will happen? You, you need to set the pin, this is the first, okay? If you enter the pin, it will be validated in the back end whether your pin is correct or not. This is the first option. Second, you want to deposit the money. That means you want to deposit the money. Okay. Maybe as a user, he can deposit a hundred or thousand or it should be greater than maybe by chance he can able to store as a one, maybe a zero. Okay, or a negative balance. Assume that he kept as a some kind of 10 rupees note. Then each ATM should not deposit 10 rupees. Maybe minimum value should be a hundred. Maybe it's kind of a business logic. Maybe he can provide as a negative value. Assume that a negative value. Assume that this kind of operation can be happen. Deposit the money. Once you deposit the money, you want to check. Okay, the available balance. You want to check the, the available balance. These three conditions we need to satisfy in the ATM deposit machine. How I can take the variables? Now see here, the encapsulation is following one advantage, a control over the data flexibility, right? Now that means what? Either you can provide a right axis or a read axis. Now to check the available balance, I don't want to provide any setter method. I want to provide only read access for this option. Okay, set the pin here. I need a setter method is required. Deposit the money. Just I want to deposit. I don't want to like any kind of a getter method here also. I need a setter method. Now have a look here. I'm taking three variables, private, integer, okay, the available balance. Let me make it as a one variable available balance. Initially, assume that a three, four, five, zero. This is the balance is available inside your account. ATM available balance in your machine. That means in your account, you have this much balance is available. Second, okay. Now, private, okay. Integer ATM pin. You want to set ATM pin, right? Private. Now, integer, I can take as a deposit money how much amount you want to deposit now these three are my instance variables just i given as a private access here now have a look how to generate setter method and getter method source generate select all and generate here okay all setter methods and getter methods are generated for these three variables now have a look here what are the conditions i need to satisfy First, set the pin, okay? I need setter method. Read access is not required. If you don't want a read access, 
just we have a flexibility as a read only or uh, write only right i don't want to read every atm pin just let me remove this part i don't want a okay uh, get atm pin is not required this is for the first variable second variable deposit the money just i want to deposit the money okay i don't want any uh, getter method just you can remove your deposit money okay now set atm pin set deposit money now available balance just you want to read axis i don't want to make as a okay right axis just i am removing here this is nothing but a flexibility of your encapsulation that is a second advantage either you can control the data either read only or write only now your pojo class is ready now your pojo class is ready now now have a look here how i can test this particular application just have a look here let me refresh here okay where is an option called refresh in the it is displaying okay refresh now atm right now here let me create a class here for you what is the class atm test i'm creating a main method here just you can write a main method here now let me create a object for atm deposit machine object obj equals to new atm deposit machine now for this particular object okay if you want to deposit you need to set your atm pin suppose assume that let me keep 1882 as my pin and i want to set the balance now set a deposit money suppose assume that 4500 you want to deposit after these two conditions are satisfied i want to check my balance now i can say available available balance in my account available balance in my account okay i want to display plus just obj dot i don't have set balance if you are able to set or method not available i have a get available balance that's it now see how we can still not at completed still we have lot more things we need to discuss here see okay now this is my available balance if i deposit run as java application now what data it is displaying now 3450 that means this is about a initial amount in your account but after deposit it should be add some addition operation it needs to perform that means you need to update the balance before updating first you need to verify whether this pin is correct or not you need to validate the user given data now that is another advantage those all points we discussed in the last session okay now see we need we can validate user given data before storing now in this use case i don't want to keep directly now go to your set atm pin here now here just i am writing some logic have a look here if my atm pin double equals to assume that 1970 okay then only i want to store else i want to throw see here now let me paste it here okay before pasting now system dot out dot println we can write it as a successfully successfully we can say verified pin just i want to display some log message here else if a pin is not matching what you need to do i want to throw an exception i am using a runtime exception right now if you are a beginner you can ignore just you can directly use i am throwing an expect expect exception explicitly here i want to make it as a pin is i can say as a pin is invalid please invalid please try one please try one more time just i'm going to display some kind of a message now see now this is called validation logic now go to your atm test if i run this application run as java application see here now you got an exception here see java dot lang dot runtime exception pin is invalid please try one more time maybe second time you are making some kind of a 1887 okay now again let me run this particular application still pin is invalid maybe in the atm you can able to maintain three count equal to a three that logic also we can perform as of now you want to understand 
use case of the encapsulation that's a limited functionality i'm taking here now what is the real pin 1970 here now what i'm doing here 1970 okay here let me make it insert here let me make it 1970 here okay now pin verification is happening right click run as balance see successfully verified pin that means first condition is completed but still my available balance is 3450 but even i want to take care about this method also now have a look here click on deposit money now here also you can verify the logic if your money should be greater than or equals to 100 then only i want to assign my value see here i want to make a condition if you want to deposit money else okay if you are providing through new run time exception here you can provide your exception message like a okay here the amount should be okay the amount should be greater than 100 just i want to display this kind of error messages now I'll just go there now right click run as java application still my available balance is 3450 but here if you provide as a 45 assume that you are trying to deposit 45 now run as java application see here pin is correct but your balance amount should be greater than 100 okay suppose you given as a 150 assume that now both conditions are satisfied now but you need to update your available balance now that logic you need to write it here how you can write it now see here before storing this data now this deposit money you should add into your available balance how you can make it okay now have a look here the available balance echo okay this is a current class variable this dot available balance is equal to now first you need to get what is your balance first of all available balance plus that means your available balance initially what your your kind of available balance it's kind of a assignment to a variable now you need to deposit this money whatever you have that deposit money this a two information the available balance plus how much amount you are deposit this is two you are adding and you are assigning to this global level variable now the amount will be updated now have a look here right click run as java application see now your available balance is what 3650 let me make it as a 1500 right click run as java application see 5000 is my available balance how it is happening to make it very simplified let me make it as a 500 500 is your available balance now you are trying to insert some kind of a 1500 then your balance should be 2000 right click and java application see the available balance is a 2000 here this is one of the use case for the encapsulation in the same way we can perform so many operations in the atm machine okay so this is the example for the encapsulation guys please practice and don't by heart code the code or the theory try to understand the concept and okay if you have any doubt yes you can drop your uh, comments in the video section thank you guys we'll catch up in the next session Thank <laughs> you.